What's up everyone, this is Savage Lead 89 and today we're going to talk about a real topic today for YouTube. Um, I almost got scammed, can you believe that? And basically I'm here to talk to you guys about how to avoid this type of scam. Um, I was on Craigslist and I was selling my iPhone 4S for $200 from Boost Mobile which is unlocked. Uh, if you go on Boost Mobile it's $299 brand new and mine was $200, I've only used it for a week. Um, I was getting multiple offers. One was for 175, which was a good offer. I was like, okay, $25 off. I'm not making much of a profit, but still, I just want to get a newer phone. So I was going to do it, and right before I was going to contact this guy and give him a yes, I get a contact from somebody with the Oklahoma area code saying he would pay me $300 for my phone. Um, my panties were soaked at that point. Because three hundred dollars, I was like, "Wow!" I feel like I didn't even buy the phone in the first place. That it was a great offer. I was like, "Okay," and he was telling me that the only way he could pay me is through PayPal, and to sign up or do you have an account offer or something like that. So I was like, "Okay, shit, sh sure." So I gave him my account information without even thinking it. He says he'll put three hundred dollars in my account. It all seemed legit. I was getting confirmations from PayPal saying you have three hundred dollars in your account, um, but please. Your your three hundred dollars is on hold. You have to send us a tracking number. Now, I've been working with PayPal and eBay for as long as I can remember, and they never asked me for a tracking number. It's either you get paid, then you ship out the item, or you don't ship it out at all because you're not getting paid. You have to get paid first before you can even ship it out. So it's kind of like that. And this guy was asking me for the shipping number like crazy. So with mine stinks. Um, I look on Google because Google is like my home. It's not 95% honesty on there, and they get straight to the get straight to the point with your whatever you're asking, like on Ask.com or Google. And then they got 5% of people who, with their opinions, are straight up ass. Like they're just being dicks or jealous people, and they just make up shit. But the 95% of it is true. So I went through, and I was seeing people in 2013 from the the month range of November December getting uh, hacked or getting scanned from these people in Nigeria. So and they also gave me a little thing that was like, if you think your email that they sent you is like some sort of phishing or scam, send it to, uh, what was it, um, spoof at paypal.com. Yeah, that's what it was. So I sent it to them. Without even five minutes, they say, thank you, Keith Ferrier, for sending us this item, for sending us email. You were right. It is. It was a phishing attempt, and we're, stop, we're starting to stop it right now. We're getting on it right now. I was like, wow. I was about to get scammed, you guys. So basically, I load up on Google and I've checked so many people's scams right now, and I'm about to read you some of them. Number one, what they do, they, the scammer, will send you a phony but legitimate-looking email from PayPal indicating that you that the money has been sent but won't be credited to your account until you email back the tracking number, which was mine. It says this is complete BS because PayPal would never, never ask for a tracking number before crediting you the money. If you log into into a real PayPal account, not the same link in an email, and there is no money present and no copy of that email, then it's obvious that there is no transaction. But how many people will go through this extra trouble? Two, they send you an email from PayPal, again, phony, saying that the money has been sent, but you must click on the enclosed link to confirm the transaction. The link then takes you to a very real looking PayPal site where you enter your login details and bam, you just fell for an old fashioned phishing scam where the Craigslist scammer hacks your account and takes your money. Just like that because they do a three way thing. Like you, It looks like you're on PayPal, but really across the country, Nigeria, there's someone else on PayPal hacking to your thing. So when you type it in your password, they're getting it. These guys are fucking smart, but fucking unknowledgeable. Is that the kind of thing? They, they're smart hackers? But do they think we're going to fall for it? That's whether. Number three, the scammer pays you with the hacked PayPal account. The money goes into your account. Then once you send the item, the real account holder reports the theft and PayPal debits the money from your account. Now you have no money and no merchandise. So basically, these guys are using identity theft. They're claiming that there's some other people. This guy was named was Michael Malvino. And then it was funny when I reported it or forwarded it to that uh, spoof at paypal.com. They gave me his real name. His real name was uh, Mike Shitu. Mike Shitu. 
or something like that. He's from Nigeria, and he gave me his address. Blah 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 blah. Some some I don't know. All right, number four, the Craigslist scammer paid you with a real PayPal account and asked you to ship the merchandise to a different address. Won't you do so? And they have the merchandise in hand. They turn around and file a chargeback, saying that they never received the item. It doesn't matter if you have a copy of the delivery confirmation or email from them asking you to send the merchandise to a different address. You have no protection from PayPal, and if you ship anywhere other than the verified PayPal address, scammers know this, and they're hoping you won't. So, this guy never even gave me his address. He kept shooting around. I kept tricking around the bush. I was like, dude, where's your address? And he never gave it to me. So, I mean, that was like, honestly, really crazy right there. Hold on. This is crazy. Um, yeah, but that's basically it you guys. That's what I want to talk to you guys about right now today um, Number five the oldest scam in the book is where the scammer sends you more money than you asked for exactly $300 for my 200 asking price They will then apologize and say that they made a mistake But if you could please just wire the balance to their shipping agent through Western Union and they will arrange a pickup You do this and the scammer fires a charge back with PayPal saying that their account has been hacked and that they never intended to send you any money. PayPal then turns around and debits the money from your account. This one really puts the sucker stamp on your forehead because now that you have now what happened is that you just sent the merchandise plus your own money to the scammer using another fake name through Western Union. How will you ever live that down? Oh wait, fortunately you read this article and you won't get stung. You are now smart instead of stung. <sighs> All right, there are just a few methods that any Craigslist scammer can use to defraud you and the real PayPal. If you keep these things in mind and still wish to go forward with a PayPal payment on Craigslist, I hope that it all works out for you. Considering these people are always looking for new ways to scam you from your money, I would be very hesitant to proceed with these types of transactions. One thing I have learned is that the best way to cut off a scammer on Craigslist is to keep all your transactions, number one, local, and number two, cash only. Craigslist is also full of local scammers. Don't get me wrong, not all criminals live in Nigeria. That would be just too foolish to allow themselves to allow yourself to think that locally has anything to do with criminal element. There have been numerous reports of people being robbed or assaulted by local criminals from Craigslist. One very important rule above all others is to always meet in a well lit, very public places. Never allow yourself to be pulled away from the crowd since the old adage is correct that there is safety in numbers. Hope this helps you guys. This is really crazy. Uh, I feel like this is a new scam with the whole Nigeria thing because it says from November to December 2013. Today's January 3rd, 2014. I almost got scammed. Um, this is crazy. Um, life is getting hard. Uh, Savage Elite will be coming back uh, full time as a gamer. So I'll be making more videos for you guys. Sorry about that. Um, yeah. It's time. To realize that we all are human beings, that we all make mistakes. I just want to make this video public so that y'all all get it out there. And that y'all avoid getting scanned from these people from Nigeria or hell, even people here in the United States. Because basically it feels like this world is getting empty and everyone is just becoming hostile. So make sure you look out. Make sure you keep your defenses up. Don't fall for scam. Don't fall for phishing. If you get an email address and it seems weird, just go ahead and send it to spoof at, a, at paypal.com. So... They'll get that fixed right away and let y'all know. Um, so yeah, take it easy, guys. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up to boost it up so people can see it more. And uh, they can get the word out there quicker to avoid all these type of scams. If you are using Craigslist, make sure you don't accept it from PayPal or Western Union or anything. Make sure you meet locally with a lot of people where it's public and only handle with cash. So those are two big tips that you can do. Um... So yeah, don't do what I do. I'm glad I didn't go any further and didn't get scammed and use, lose all my money and my merchandise. Uh, I did sell my phone. It's with a better person now. And he gave me 184 which is a little better. But at least I'm not in a hole right now without any merchandise, without any money. So I can't be, you know, too begging right now. Um, So yeah, basically this whole move video was about... You know, going with your instinct first because I knew something was wrong with that. $300 for a $200 phone? Seriously? Why would you spend... Why would you ask for... Th okay, whatever. I'm going to end this video right now with... Um, Y'all guys are really good and 
you know, do the right thing. God bless y'all. Y'all have fun. Love. Mwah.